Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I've got my vegan t-shirt on. This was a secret Santa. So no, I haven't lost a load of weight, although it possibly looks like I have. It's far too big for me, but apparently it will shrink in the wash and the tumble dryer. So as soon as I can fit into the tumble dryer, I'll be shrinking it to fit. I don't like t-shirts with baggy. I mean, I've only got skinny little puny arms anyway, but t-shirts with baggy sleeves make me look even punier. So, you know, I like a bit of, bit of fitting around the, the arms. Anyway, enough of what I'm wearing. Today, I'm going to be masticating for you in a video. A lot of you have requested a video of me masticating, and here it is. Now, it's not a rude word. Some of you might be sniggering. Oh, he said masticate. Well, masticate, folks, as I'm sure you know, is just a fancy word for chewing, basically. Everyone masticates, everyone. If you've got teeth, you'll masticate. So masticate is to chew. I have in front of me what's called a masticating or slow press juicer that I've had for many years. I bought it, well, it must be about 15 years ago or so. When I was made redundant, I splashed a lot of cash on things and I got what at the time was one of the best masticating juicers. So I'll show you a bit about this juice and why it's a bit different to a centrifugal juicer. And then I'm going to make a turbocharged smoothie for you. So you do need a juicer to make this recipe. You don't have to have a masticating one. You can have a centrifugal juicer. You also need a blender because this is a smoothie. So it's a, it combines juice with some solid material to make you a very nice smoothie, very healthy smoothie. So I'll just show you what this device is and then I'll get all the ingredients together and we'll do some masticating. So this is my juicer. It's made by a company and I'll probably pronounce this wrong. Le Equipe. Seems like a French name. Um, but they still make juicers. There are many, many different juicers. Now it's a, an old model. Some uh, masticating juicers you can get now have a much wider shoot, which means you can put whole apples and other whole fruit and veg into it. So it saves a lot of preparing because you do have to cut up the, the fruit and veg in order to go down the shoot. Okay, so this is the shoot and this is the pusher you use to push down whatever you're going to juice into the tube here. Um, and what happens is it's a slow running motor and it's fairly quiet. I'll turn it on for you. So basically, instead of spinning the fruit and vegetables against a sort of a grater to extract the juice, this masticates, it chews the produce and then passes it through a fine sieve at the bottom. The juice is extracted through a spout here into this smaller jug and then all the pulp comes out of the front of the machine and is collected inside this pulp container. And with a masticating juicer, with good masticating juicers, the pulp should be drier than it is with a centrifugal juicer. So basically, a masticating juicer is supposed to get more of the juice out of your produce and also because it doesn't heat up the juice like some centrifugal juicers can, it retains more of the nutrients or so that is what I've been told. Anyway, so here's the juicer. Let's get the produce and make some juice. Okay, so here are the ingredients to make a Juice Master Turbo Express smoothie. I've got this recipe from a website called juicemaster.com and it was started by a gentleman called Jason Vale, who apparently cured many of his ailments by using a juicing detox diet. So he is an advocate of juicing and blending and of course eating fresh organic produce. So check out the website juicemaster.com. I haven't been paid to mention that. I thought I'd start with this particular recipe because it's one I've made myself 
quite a few times. So anyway, for this, and this will serve one person, so you can double up if you're making a lot. I'll probably make a big batch of this. As long as you drink it within a couple of days, keep it under refrigeration, you can make it in bulk. So for the ingredients, you need a quarter of a small pineapple, half a celery stick, a one inch chunk of cucumber, a small handful of spinach leaves, a small piece of peeled lime, two apples, uh, a quarter of a ripe avocado and some ice. Okay, so here's all the ingredients chopped and prepared, ready to go into the juicer. If you can get organic, it's always better to buy organic produce and you need to wash the produce, whether it's organic or not, give it a good wash. Even the pineapple, you can actually juice the pineapple with the skin on, but give the pineapple outer skin a wash as well. So basically we need to juice all these ingredients. The only thing we're not going to be juicing of course is the avocado and the ice. They will be added at the second stage. So basically now I just have to feed all this into my juicer and uh, enjoy the health benefits when I drink it. It doesn't matter what order you put the produce in, although when you're juicing the spinach, it does help if you combine that with say the apple or the pineapple to help push it through and then you'll get more juice out of it. So I'm just gonna start by actually putting a bit of the spinach into the tube, just pushing it down. I'm gonna put bit of pineapple as well. Don't want to force it down, that'll do. Switch on and then we'll see the juice being extracted under here and the pulp coming out of the front. Here comes the first bit of the pulp. You can actually, if you want to, you can save some of the pulp and incorporate it in the smoothie. And there's other things you can do with the pulp. There's other recipes you can find on the website if you don't want to waste it. If you're not going to use the pulp, you could at least compost it. There we go. So I'm adding all the bits. So it's quite quick once you've made sure you've pre-prepared all the ingredients. Even though this is a slow juicer, it's still pretty fast. And this should produce a, one big full glass of juice. Well, it's going to be a smoothie once we've added the avocado. And the avocado will give it a very rich, creamy texture. I don't personally like to eat avocados. In fact, I don't like spinach either. But once all these ingredients are combined, you will not taste the spinach and you will not taste the avocado. Speaking of spinach, we'll just add the rest of the small handful of spinach leaves. Nearly done. Just a bit more apple and pineapple to go in. Whoops. Two more pieces of pineapple. Now you could actually drink the juice as it is now if you don't have a blender. But obviously I'm doing the full recipe so I will need to add the avocado and some ice. Right, let's wait for the final bit of pulp to come out. I think that's more or less everything. 
There we go. So that's the pulp that's been extracted from all that fruit and veg. And we have got, now some people might think that looks absolutely disgusting, but believe you me, it isn't. It tastes a lot better than it looks, but this is real nutrients. This is live nutrients going into your body. Um, your body will thank you for it, I can assure you. You might find yourself, if you participate in a, a juicing plan, you might find you're going to the toilet a lot more than you normally do. Also, if you combine it by drinking fresh water, filtered or distilled, if you've got a distiller, I would recommend that. Um, this helps to just flush your body out. It, it, it gives you the nutrients, but it also helps to flush out in toxins and impurities. Well, that's what they say. I always feel better after drinking one of these. I think I've done something very good for my body because there's no way I would have eaten all, that in all those ingredients I've just shown you. No way, Not, mo most people couldn't eat all that in one sitting, but it is possible to drink it. So anyway, that's the basic juice. As I said, you can drink that now, just stir it up, pour it into a nice glass with some ice if you want. But I'm going to combine that with the avocado and some ice and turn it into a smoothie. Okay, so into my blender goblet, I've put some ice, about three cubes of ice, and I've put actually half a ripe avocado. The recipe calls for a quarter, but I find uh, to use half is okay if you want it a little bit richer. So that's what you do. And then basically now, I'm hoping it's all going to fit in this. It's not the biggest container. I'm going to pour the green juice into the blender goblet. Oh, I guess that should be about enough. Good. There we are. And then I'm going to blend all that together for a few seconds. Now, if you're listening with earphones, you might want to turn your volume down because this Nutribullet is quite noisy. It's a very effective blender, but it's very, very noisy. Okay. That should be all it needs. And as you can see now, that dark green juice has turned into a light green smoothie. So all we have to do now is pour it into a glass and enjoy. That is very, very nice. Absolutely delicious and so good for you. It's also recommended um, from the juice master not to drink a juice too quickly. The rule of thumb is drink the juice in the time it would take you to eat all the produce. So you saw all that uh, raw produce I had. So don't just gulp it all down. Your body is going to think, my God, what's this coming in? This is fantastic. So relish it, sip it. Make it last half an hour if you can. Just take little sips, go out, sit in the garden if you've got sun, like we have today in February. Can you believe it? It's warm and we've got sun in February. So I'm going to sit outside, take in some sun, some boost my vitamin D with the sunshine and get so many nutrients, protein and vitamins from this turbocharged smoothie. It's actually made more than this. This is a nice big glass full. There's still some more left, but I will be eat well, eating. Well, I suppose it is eating it, but I'll be drinking all of this. And if you're like me, you don't have a very healthy diet. I'm a vegan, but I wouldn't say I'm a healthy vegan. It's very easy to be unhealthy on a vegan diet, especially now, because there's so much convenience vegan foods in the shops that high fat, high sugar, okay, they don't contain any animal products, but a lot of the stuff you can buy isn't good for you, but it is a good thing to do, to have. I'm pleased you can get vegan ice cream. I'm pleased you can get vegan sweets and chocolate and, and pizzas. I'm very pleased you can because it helps people if who want to go vegan, it helps them in that stage where it's, you know, you want to be eating familiar food, but 
you don't, you know, you, you don't be eating couscous and tofu and what, you know, what, what people expect vegans to eat. I certainly don't eat stuff like that. So I know I don't get enough nutrients from my regular diet. So one way I know I can boost my nutrients is to do this and I must do it more often. I'm gonna try and at least do three of these types of smoothies or juices a week. I'll mix it up because there's so many juicing recipes. There's one that contains beetroot. Now again, I don't like beetroot, but in a juice, you don't really taste it. It makes the juice a really vibrant red color. So that's very good for you. So I'm going to aim at this stage for three juices a week, at least. The only bugbear I have with the juicing is that machine takes forever to clean up. So when I stop filming, I'm going to put all the components in hot soapy water. So I'm not gonna have the bother of cleaning them up. So that's the only disadvantage, especially with the, this type of juicer, it can be difficult to clean, but don't let that put you off because what you're doing for your body by drinking freshly extracted juices is well worth the effort it takes to, you know, to clean up your juicer. Obviously it's gonna cost a bit to get a juicer and a blender. You don't have to get the most expensive. You can get both for about 80 pounds. You can, it is possible under 80 pounds to get a basic juicer and blender. But if you find you're using that a lot and you get into juicing, then it's probably worth investing in some better equipment eventually. But if it works for you and you use it, it's still better than drinking juice you can buy in a supermarket that's been pasteurized, which basically means all the live nutrients have killed when it goes through the pasteurization process. This is live, pure goodness. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic. So if I keep it up, hopefully if you follow my channel, you will see me starting to look better. You'll see my complexion improving. You'll see I'm getting a bit thinner and um, maybe it'll even boost my mood. Who knows? Just the sun being out today has made me feel happy because I do get to the blues a bit during winter as many of us do, but this is just fantastic. And it really, trust me, I'm a very fussy eater, but that is a beautiful, delicious, smoothie. Okay, so that's the video. A bit uh, different if you're one of my regular viewers. If you're not, please subscribe. And if you want to see me doing more juicing recipes, let me know in the comments section below and I'll, I'll see if I can do some more for you. I would recommend the juicemaster.com website if you want to learn about juicing. You can find out loads of stuff on there even before you buy any of the books, but there are plenty of books available in physical form and of course Kindle versions as well. So look into it if you think it's for you, but if you're lazy like me, you're not gonna eat a load of fresh fruit and veg. You don't want to prepare it all. Juicing is certainly something that I would recommend you do. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.